Some of you may remember when I did my Dominican Republic stories. One of the stories was about David Ortiz right here. David Ortiz has been in the hospital for several weeks after being shot at an outdoor bar in the Dominican Republic. Well, he <laughs> he finally just got released. Look at all this time that has gone by with him being in the hospital. And it just goes to show you how serious his condition was. It's unusual for somebody to spend several weeks in a hospital if their condition was not that serious. So he was recently released from Boston Hospital. And remember, he originally was in a hospital in the Dominican Republic. And they had arranged for him to be flown back to the U.S., and when he came back to the U.S., he was in Boston Hospital. And it's been he's been there all this time. Had a few surgeries. And he's lucky to be alive. He really is. And if you remember, they have arrested people that did the shooting and they swear up and down this was a mistaken identity. David Ortiz was not the intended target. That's what they're claiming. I don't know what to believe out of the Dominican Republic. We've heard so many lies, it's not even funny. So David Ortiz released from Boston Hospital weeks after DR shooting. And this is July 27th, 2019. David Ortiz has been released. And by the way, this is TMZ. Uh, David Ortiz has been released from the hospital where he's been recuperating from a nearly fatal gunshot wound he suffered in the Dominican Republic. Big Pappy was reportedly discharged Friday from Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston and was sent home with his family. According to ESPN, the former Red Sox slugger will continue his rehabilitation at his house where he'll be monitored by full-time nurses. He'll also have his personal doctor regularly check on him as he continues to heal. Well, he needs nurses around the clock that says it all right there. So... This is great news for Ortiz, who was shot in the lower back at point-blank range. He went into emergency surgery there on the island nation and was eventually transported to the Boston area hospital, where he remained in critical condition for a while. He was taken out of ICU late last month and was listed as being in good condition. Looks like the trend has continued. Now he's out of the hospital and seemingly on his way to a full recovery, as we reported. The doctors found the bullet that struck Ortiz pierced his liver, his small and large intestines. He even had to have his gallbladder removed during surgery. Yeah, and they took him in. This is the guy that pulled the trigger right here, if you remember. And he had warrants for his arrest here in my state. DR officials have said that Ortiz was not the intended target of the attack and was simply a victim of mistaken identity. A man named Rafi Fieria Cruz was named as the suspected shooter and has been arrested and booked with lots of other people brought in as well. Yeah, they said there were a lot of people in on that hit. I just don't see how they can confuse that. You know, David Ortiz is very famous in the Dominican Republic. I just don't see how they can 
confuse him like that. But this is what they're claiming. They could be claiming this because they're afraid, you know, especially some type of retaliation may be in order for what happened, y'all. You know, they could be in fear of that because this is one hell of a screw up to shoot probably one of the most famous people from the Dominican Republic. You know, these athletes are pretty big over there. So how do you confuse that? You know, and then we heard all of these other stories about some woman he was with, and I, I don't know how true that is. Because, I mean, it could be, I'm not saying that because athletes always got some chick stashed away somewhere but I don't know if it was the case in this particular instance, because, I mean, the original story about that was later debunked. So who knows? But there were several people in on this hit. They said people were inside of that outdoor bar and they were near David Ortiz and the gunman, if you remember, was on a motorcycle and shot him point blank. This man is lucky to be alive after, you know, just surviving that kind of hit point blank and the organs that were hit, his liver, you know, that's pretty deadly and his intestines. Some of his intestines had to be removed. Yeah, I guess he was in the hospital all this time because those are very serious things that happened to him. But I wish him the best and I wish him a full recovery. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. This, I don't know, this whole thing still sounds very shady to me that occurred there in the Dominican Republic along with all of the other stories, right? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.